Hey everybody, this is Brian with Bear Cards 34. Welcome back to another Throwback Thursday. Uh, today I'm going to be opening up 1989 Pro Set football cards. Now, uh, this all came about when I ordered a handful. I ordered 12 Series 2 Pro Set cards. And the idea was to try to score a Barry Sanders rookie. And you'll see a couple of them uh, back in the in the background here. So I'm hoping to pull another one of those. Uh, you may have seen my earlier video. I was a little concerned. I thought maybe I got scammed a little on eBay. Um, there are the first two packs were both Series 2, looking good. But then all the remaining 10 were from Series 1. And you can see the difference here uh, with the Series 2 logo. So I was a little concerned that maybe they uh, ripped me off a little bit. Luckily, I contacted the seller he immediately apologized and what he did is he sent out the 10 series 2 packs and told me to go ahead and keep the 10 series 1 packs so i have 12 series 2 10 series 1 so we'll go ahead and uh, get ripping i'll start off with series 1 now series 1 just so you know does not have the uh rookie cards uh, you have Barry Sanders, Troy Aikman, and a bunch of others. But it does have a few other rookies that we'll look for, including uh, Michael Irvin and uh, a few others. So this right here, this was considered the holy grail of the 1989 Pro Set cards. This is the William Perry card number 47. And they had to pull this card early in production. And so I remember that that was kind of what everybody was trying to get their hands on. At one point it was, you know, on uh, Beckett... Uh, being worth $90, and it's not worth that now. Um, nowhere near that, I don't think, but but it's still one of my favorite cards. Okay, so each of the Series 1 packs would include a Super Bowl card, which would give a highlight of the game. And that was really cool for me as a kid to be able to kind of read over the history of the, the old Super Bowls. So we've got Cornelius Bennett, Jim Everett, Warren Moon, Eddie Murray, Lawrence Taylor and for those who are not familiar here's what the back of these cards look like when these first came out I thought they were just the coolest thing on earth because although I still love tops the tops is my favorite when pro set came out with color photos on the back um, that was pretty pretty impressive Hassan Jones Daryl Green Bill Piquel oh look at that Mike Ditka. Now, there, this set is known as a living set. There's a lot of changes that came in. One of the changes is they eventually put out a card where it mentioned that he's a Hall of Famer here. So there are different versions and variations. Uh, they corrected errors quite often. Now, here's another example. This is Stacy Turan, a really good defensive back, safety for the uh, Raiders. And unfortunately, he passed away soon after this card was made. So they came out with another version that had a uh, um, kind of his, his birth and death uh, acknowledgement there. Uh, but yeah, so that's another example. And we may see those in the Series 2 packs, you know, depending on, on what I pull. And there we go. Something tells me that uh, wouldn't be very helpful these days. All right, pack number two. Uh, so for those of you, if any of you guys uh, ripped this back in the day when it first came out, let me know your thoughts on this product. What You, you know, it was a... Uh, Basically, we had tops, and then we had Pro Set and Score. Soon after that, we, in fact, Action Pack did put out a little mini set with three teams from this year. And look at that, we're already seeing a whole bunch of the exact same cards. How crazy is that? Wow. Deja vu, huh? All right. So this was the second year uh, for me of collecting sports cards. Uh, I started off with Garbage Pail Kid cards as a little kid. Uh, and then my brother bought a box of 1987 Tops, And I kind of got hooked after watching him opening that. So it took me until the next year, the 1988 set, before I really got into it. Uh, and then uh, the rest was history for me. So I know there are a few cards such as, uh, you know, the uh, Brian Bosworth had a corrected error where on one version of the card it said Seattle instead of Seahawks, so they, they corrected that. 
Uh, the John Elway card, there's one where it says he was acquired via trade, and another one uh, says drafted in the first round. All right, now here's, here's our first really nice rookie card. This here, Thurman Thomas, Hall of Fame running back for the Buffalo Bills. I'll go ahead and sleeve that one up. So there's a good one right there. All right. Cedric Mack, Reggie Williams, Joe Nash, Lonzel Hill, Reggie Langhorn, Marty Lyons, Jim Fanhorst, and Mike Munchak. Yeah, it's definitely uh, nostalgic for me opening up these packs again. Mark Lee, Mike Kim. I opened up a uh, Pro Set 1990 on my last video. Man, look at the duplicates here. That's insane. Hopefully we'll have something like that with Series 2 and get a whole bunch of Barry Sanders rookies or Troy Aikman. A couple of the other big ones that you're going to see. Uh, of course, Deion Sanders, Derek Smith. Now with Series 2, and this is how you know I ended up with a whole bunch of duplicates, Series 2. Two has the Series 1 cards in the set, but then it also has a handful of Series 2 cards. Bobby Butler, Kevin Butler, Max Montoya, Ken O'Brien, Tim McKire, Irv Eatman, Bubby Brister. Yeah, he was around for a little while there. Okay. We've got <clears throat> four more packs. I'm hoping I can pull a Michael Irvin, although I can pull the Michael Irvin in the next, you know, in the Series 2 as well. So again, we've got our Super Bowl card, Eric Moore, Michael Walter, Albert Lewis, Aaron Jones, Mark May, Steve Pelleur, Sammy Winder, Marv Levy, Nico Noga, Joe Kelly, Brian Millard, Jim Scow. I feel like I remember that guy, maybe from the Super Bowl. Schuler, Johnny Rembert. <clears throat> Next up. Now there is a Sterling Sharp rookie this year as well, but that was in Series 3. Um, man, I, if I remember right, I think with Series 3 from this year... I think those came out in packs two, and you'd have series one, series two, and then a couple series three cards. But just kind of shows you how many of these cards were made. And look at the look at the duplication we're getting here. How crazy! It's almost like we're just getting the same packs. Pretty interesting. And another thing you'll notice, Clay Matthews, uh, the car, the centering on the cards, and that's why like getting a PSA. Uh, 10 of, of a berry is actually still a pretty nice card to have because uh, with the centering on these <clears throat> it was difficult sometimes to have that uh, perfect. You know, it's often left to right or right to left. Boomer, Assisen, Paul Moyer, James Gathers, Gerald McNeil, Johnny Hector, uh, we got a Don Griffin, Tony Zendejas, Clarence K. Lee Williams, Mike Ken, Mark Lee, Cornelius Bennett, Jim Everett. And you might hear my girls upstairs. They're, they're, uh, they're all upstairs playing right now. So if you hear a little background noise, that's what it is. All right. Another Super Bowl card. Another Joe Kelly. Look at this. Wow. It's crazy, right? That's a lot. Okay, Rulon Jones. He went to Utah State, my alma mater. Uh, in fact, I think... I think he retired before the 1989 season. I actually met him. Uh, he came out, came back to Utah and, and did an autograph show. And I actually have him. He autographed a, a version of this card for me. And then I think he retired before the next season. So, but he had a really good career for the Broncos. So if there are any Broncos fans out there, they may, they may remember, uh, may remember him a little bit. All right, now for the moment I've been waiting for anyway. Series 2. So let's go ahead and see what we get in here. And like I said, I'm to I'd am be totally fine with uh, a lot of duplicates if it's uh, a pack with Barry or Troy. Okay. So as you can see here, these are, these are just Series 1 cards. 
Here, however, is a Series 2 card. Uh, you can see that orange background. This is quite off-center, uh, but that is a nice, you know, Hall of Famer, Steve Atwater, rookie card. So I'm definitely happy with that. Dennis Gibson, Shane Conlon, Ron Brown, Irving Fryer, Ray Childress, James Jones, James Jefferson. Now this is a Series 2 card, and they, they would uh, have the pro prospect here on some of the players that they thought might uh, make something of themselves. Irv Eatman, Brister, Kevin Ross, Andy Heck. That's a Series 2. And then these were also Series 2. These are uh, nice. Of all the ones to get, perfect. Dick Butkus. So these are the announcer collectibles. And these came with the Series 2 packs. So that's nice to get that there. All right, next pack. And they... Uh, <clears throat> The, uh, the announcers, I can't remember if there were 20 or 30 of them, but there were quite a few. You know, one year, at least one year, these guys also, ProSet, made referee cards. Uh, I do miss the coaching cards. I'd love, to, I'd love if they still made the coach cards. I, I mean, I don't know, maybe some of the sets do, I just don't recall. Ed Tutal jones Dennis Smith. There's another Sean Collins rookie card. Ron Wolfley, Louis Sharp, Greg Townsend. That's a Series 2 card right there. Boomer... Moyer, Gathers, we've got a Bruce McNorton, Gerald McNeil, and then we've got a Bill Walsh for NBC. All right, so we've got one Hall of Fame rookie in Series 2, one Hall of Fame rookie in Series 1. Mark Super Duper, part of the Marks Brothers. Ah, uh, James Brooks, one of my all-time favorite players. Love that card. Look at his shoulder pads. Pretty cool. Jeff Bryant. Oh, and now this. Okay, I'll show you. So they did get the rights to William Perry in Series 2. So they, re they reprinted the card, you know, or they made a new card of him. So you've got the Series 1 and Series 2. The, the back picture is the same. So you've got card number 47 and card number 445. All right. Pretty cool there. We've got Jamie Morris. All right, very nice. We've got a Michael Irvin rookie card. So here's another of the Hall of Famers. And that's a, a good one to get right there. Wow, can't get a sleeve out. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, Michael Irvin. And look how young he looks there. Man, time flies. Then we got a Chris Collinsworth. I think this would have been his la the last year he had a card made. And he had some really good years. Four 1,000-yard seasons. Not bad. Uh, Kyle Clifton. Danny Stubbs, pro prospect. Mike Kofer. Reggie Roby. Simon Fletcher. And the announcer card is Jack Buck. So I believe that's Joe Buck's father. Very cool. All right. N Oop, there we go. Next pack. And we've got a Vern Lundquist. Does somebody remember Vern? I was a kid, but I remember Vern Lundquist. All right, Leonard Smith, Neil Lomax, Mark Duper again, James Brooks again, Andre Reed, nice card, Henry Ellard, another great receiver from back in the day, Ernest Givens, another really good receiver, Pete Manley, and we've got a Tracy Rocker pro prospect, Nick Lowry. Thomas uh, Everett. Then we've got a Bart Oates. He went to BYU, a local guy. Tim Ricketts. And there's our Vern Lundquist card. All right, next up. We have got a few more chances to get a berry. Ron Holmes. Sean Farrell. Roy Foster. Russ Graham. Mark Collins, Tony Woods, Scott Studwell, Tony Mandrich, one of the bigger busts in the NFL. But when he came out, there was just so much hype around this guy. I kind of thought he was going to be the next big thing. Stacy Bailey, Dave Dewerson, good old Dave Dewerson, the late great. Chris Chandler, I think that's his rookie card. Uh, Bruce McNorton, Hall of Famer Jackie Slater, and a Hank Stram announcer card. 
Okay. What was it he used to say? Matriculate down the field or something like that? I just remember as a kid seeing an NFL Films thing and loved that. Rufus Porter. Darren Nelson. Ah, oh, there we go. Derek Thomas. That looks like a pretty sharp card there, too. I like, uh, I like that one. Great. So Derek Thomas, the late, great Hall of Famer. Very nice card. And there he is. Very cool. So his Chiefs are in the Super Bowl for the second time in a row. What do you guys think? Chiefs or Bucks? I think uh, the Bucks have a really good defense. And, you know, with Tom Brady, anything is possible. But I don't know. I don't know if they're going to – I don't know if they can get this one. Oh, very nice. Troy Aikman. Off center, right? Left to right. But, nonetheless, that is a – Troy Aikman rookie card. I'll take it. And there's Troy Aikman again, looking young. Wow. I've got a Tom Rathman, Anthony Tony, Tony Tony, and James Brown. Look at that. All right. It's looking pretty young there, too. All right. Next pack. Come on, Barry Sanders. Joey Browner. Kelvin Bryant. Oh, Willie Galt on the Raiders. Blasphemy. Loved Willie Galt on the Bears. Mike Singletary. Very cool. Keith Byers. Reuben Mays. Frank Stams. Rod Bernstein. Randy Grimes. Raymond Claiborne. Got a Jim Jensen. Irving Fryer. Carl Banks. And a Joe Namath announcer card right there. Next up. Oh, here's our announcer card. Look at this. The Juice, O.J. Simpson, pre-controversy, etc. Uh, so with the players who are announcers, they'll put a player card on the front and then their announcer card on the back. So we got Fred Young with two Ds. John Stevens, he passed away a few years ago, but he was uh, really good that rookie season. Uh, Bill Hawkins, Bubba Paris, Everson Walls, great player, should be in the Hall of Fame. Jeff Bostock, Marcus Allen. Oh, speaking of blasphemy right here, Jim McMahon. They eventually came up with one of these that had a traded stripe as well. Ooh, that hurts. Bestie Jackson, the late, great Jerome Brown, late, great Sam Mills. Rodney P, Pro Prospect. There we go. Gary Anderson, Mark Carrier. All right, we have four packs remaining. So let's go ahead and see what we get. Still looking for a Barry. John L. Williams, Keith Millard, another Steve Atwater uh, rookie card. This one looks like the centering might be a little better, so that's good. There we go. Bobby Butler and Kevin uh, Butler. So we've seen a lot of these cards before. Oh, okay. Bobby Humphrey. And I think his kid plays in the NFL right now. I can't remember his first name. Humphrey, obviously. But this guy was super good for a couple of years for the Broncos. Back-to-back 1,000-yard -back years. And I remember he held out, and they ended up trading him to, I think, the Dolphins. And he never really did too much after that. Uh, but for two years, he was he was really good. And a young Bob Costas, Mike Merriweather. Three packs. Come on, Barry. We're hoping. All right. Next up. Oh, here's a good rookie card. Eric Metcalf. He was a very good player. Anthony Carter. Gary Clark. Howie Long. Another Fridge. Mike Tomzak. Chris Carter rookie card. So there's a Hall of Fame wide receiver. His rookie card with the Eagles before he went on to a great career with the Vikings. All right. Eric Martin, Daryl Ingram, Gil Bird, Paul Gruber, Reggie Dupard, Mark Clayton, the other Mark, Pepper Johnson, and a Tom Jackson announcer card. All right. Next up, two more packs. Two to go. All right. So we've got a Kelly Stauffer. 
We've got a Tom Newberry, Joe Wolf rookie card, Mike Gann, Dennis Gentry, Pat Beach, Ozzy Newsom, great player, Eric Thomas, Al Toon, Mike Wilcher, Lewis Oliver rookie card, Ronnie Lott, Lindy Infante, we've got a Perry Williams, Joe Gibbs, Two Tall Jones, James Brown again. All right, last pack, last chance. Let's see what we get <clears throat> to go along with our Pete Axthelm announcer card. And we've got Pepper Johnson, Robert Lyles, Chuck Long. What a great name for a quarterback, right? Chuck Long. Gerald Riggs, after he uh, signed with uh, Washington. Steve DeBerg. Dermonte Dawson. I think that's his rookie card, too. He was a great player. Marty Schottenheimer. Another Eric Metcalf. Anthony Carter. Gary Clark. Another William Perry. Another Mike Tomczak. Another Chris Carter. So we're getting... We, we got skunked on the berry. Uh... Luckily, I have a few, but we did get a handful of, of uh, good rookie cards here for Pro Set. And as we know, Pro Set was super produced, so uh, none of these cards are going to you know, sell for a, a billion dollars. But if we take a look here, we got, we got two Chris Carter rookie cards. We also ended up with um, two Steve Atwater rookie cards. Uh, I also got a Troy Aikman, probably the best card of the bunch. Derek Thomas, rookie. And a Michael Irvin, rookie. All right, very nice there. All right, so that'll do it for the video itself, although I am, for the throwback, I am going to show you guys, though, for those who want to stick around. Uh, I had a little mail come through, and I, I opened it off camera as far as the packaging, but I ordered this little Steve Largent set. So if there are any Steve Largent fans or... Uh, Seattle fans or just people who like the old school cards from the quote-unquote junk wax era. I did purchase this uh, online and it is the it is the Steve Largent career highlights from Pacific football cards from 1992. Now I didn't know this was in an unopened pack so that's interesting. I thought this was just maybe hand collected. Now this card right here is damaged a little, but luckily for me, I had this card already. You can kind of see the, the damage right there. I had that one. Um, and so I can just replace it quite easily. So you'll see here, this is his nine card set. Great rookie start. Then we've got Largent Leeds NFL. And I liked when they did these little uh, you know throwbacks uh, uh, to the players, you know, kind of career highlights. Upper Deck did a lot of good ones with Walter Payton, Joe Namath, Joe Montana. So right here, High Steppin. Got NFL Leader. We've got uh, Steve Largent, Team Captain. We've got a Steve Largent Pro Bowl. And this is cool because I only had two, two or three of these cards from the set that I picked up. The Man of the Year. So now I'm, I'm able to complete the set. The final season, which was, what was that, 1988, 89? Yeah, all right. And then the final one right here, Retirement Celebration. All right, so it's a cool little subset there. So if anybody's interested, you could find this uh, online for a relatively cheap price. Anyway, for those of you who stuck around, thanks for watching the video. I appreciate that. And I'll be back with more throwback videos in the near future. Everybody take care. Thanks.